Yo guys, Jens here and today I'm gonna read something that I've read um, but I'm gonna read it on the video about um, a tweet longer from uh, Asman Gold and I read it before, uh, just before uh, I made uh, this video and um, I think he, he, he gets a lot of good points he talks about a meta, uh, like a comparison that Bellular Gaming uh, does in uh, one of his clips and it's actually pretty fucking good uh, comparison but uh, I want to talk a little bit uh, about this tweet longer and I'm gonna um, stop as we go I'm gonna read it for you guys sorry for my bad English but uh, but yeah so recently especially with the burning crusade announcement along with the 9.1 ptr data mining there has been a lot of negative sentiment in the wow community today i want to talk about that sentiment regarding where it's come uh, where it comes from and where i think it's going to ever since vanilla there has always been uh, doomsayers of the community burning crusade killed wow wrath of the lich king turned the game into casually easy modes you know what I mean, you've seen it for uh, for years, just like I have. This is completely true. The Burning Crusade, I didn't feel that, uh, that Doomsayer thing, because Burning Crusade was overall really good. But in the case of Wrath of the Lich King, I actually felt that a lot. Um, especially when they added uh, looking for dungeon. Uh, it's where the term rat baby appeared where um, players just that started in rat of the lich king had um, a really negative uh, sentiment or players that started before rat of the lich king had a really negative sentiment towards these new players the feedback itself is always the same and it's never different, however the tone as of late has changed. The form of passionate righteous indignation followed by a 2000 word essay has faded away and been replaced with a resigned defeated tweet. The anger is still there, but the hope behind it has been replaced by inevitability. Holy shit, I can say this word. Move on. Uh, when uh, what turned out to be a disaster, the frustration came from a place of betrayal. How could Blizzard do this to, to us? Why is this happening? Now, I quitted what uh, mid uh, season one, so in PvP. <clears throat> then I came back like late season three and did a little bit of season four, but um, I didn't felt like what was that bad. Um, Maybe it's because after Wads we had really shitty expansions and I include Legion on this one even though Legion is seen as a really good expansion. I never saw Legion as a good expansion because I PvP mostly. Maybe in PvE it was really fun but in PvP it was really dog shit. Same with BFA and, um, and uh, especially Shadowlands. So WOD might seem better for me and since I PvP I didn't feel the content drought. What I did feel in WOD though was that the game was super scripted in PvP and uh, you would only see like a few comps. People saying that in TBC for example um, you only really have a few comps while in WOD was even worse and you had more classes. Uh, let's continue. Now when Shadowland system like Solash or Conduit Energy are cuddled along despite resounding condem uh, condemnation holy shit is using big words sorry guys from the community the feeling is no longer betrayal it can't be because re uh, betrayal requires trust and that trust was broken a long time ago and i completely agree with this but i don't think the trust was broken during what i think the trust was broken during the start of shadowlands and uh, during bfa uh, I think the trust was regained uh, during Legion after what? Because Legion, w what I think, okay, this is what I think. I think what was a really bad expansion overall, but it was better in PvP than Legion. And I think Legion, in terms of uh, expansion overall, uh, counting PvE and all of that, was 
seen as really good because it came after WOD. But if you compare Legion to like a MOP or a Cataclysm or a Wrath of the Lich King or a TBC and you put Legion above all of those, it's because your memory is fucking uh, bad. Or because you, you like different things, I guess. But uh, Legion was, was the expansion where they completely annihilated class identity. It wasn't WOD. WOD started it, Legion fucking finished it. If you, it, it was like the fatality. It was if you, if you're a Mortal Kombat fan, which I am, it was the fatality. It was Legion in the class identity, and now they are trying to regain what Legion fucking destroys. And all you gotta see is like the resource, the main resource, be, being moved out from mana to like all of these fucking combo point generators. But let's continue. But yeah, this trust was um, was completely broken. But I don't think it it was in what because overall Legion is seen still to today as a good expansion, and even though I don't agree, it's the community perception. So I think Shadowlands actually broke this uh, trust and the start of BFA. Now when Shadowlands, oh okay, okay, okay. Now when I see a system like Conduit Energy kept in a game, I see as another desperate attempt to exhume participation met metrics from a dying player base. I don't think Conduit Energy is to actually for metrics. I actually don't agree on this one. I think Conduit Energy is is just a, a byproduct of not being punished for um, like uh, for uh, swapping talent. So. They, uh, Blizzard wants to keep some of uh, World of Warcraft identity where you make meaningful choices like uh, the talent tree for uh, TBC, for Wrath of the Lich King, Kata, and most of uh, MOP I think. I didn't play the start of MOP and Classic obviously. And since they removed that, and the, if you think about it, since they removed that talent tree, they, they keep adding systems to, to complement a really bad talent tree in my opinion. Um, if you compare the two talent trees, one, like, you can say both are cookie cutters, so one just, you just swap on the fly, for example, you, you have a talent that does more AoE damage and you have a talent that does more single target damage, which means if you're in a single target fight, you pick the single target uh, talent and you don't really have a punishment for that. While in uh, TBC and all of those talent, old talent trees, you had the punishment, which was gold. And gold um, until Kata was very meaningful. And it was actually a, good, uh, a thing that um, only really high-end players did, which was like swapping one or two talents around to, to get an increase of maybe 1% damage. But um, I don't see Conduit Energy as um, a way to keep metrics. I see Torghast, actually, and Mythic Plus as that. Not really Conduit Energy. I think Conduit Energy is a system trying to solve something that uh, shouldn't have been a problem in the first place if they never remove talent trees. But let's keep going. Now when I see a pop-up that uh, pop up that Burning Crusade is releasing less than a month from now and Illidan's iconic you are not prepared quote co-opted to sell ridiculously overpriced microtransactions I see the last bit of heart and soul of a game I, I love being drained away for a quartling earnings report now I don't mind Burning Crusade releasing the, this early uh, I expect that they fix all the bugs Especially in PvP, if you follow like the big streamers, like there's a lot of bugs, and there's two bugs that really concern me, which are the um, I, uh, the Frost Nova not breaking. Actually, I think it's the biggest bug because it makes uh, an already really good class just have more comps, and a really good comp like RMP just being completely unwinnable if uh, they they have a brain. And um, the pet, obviously, because I'm a warlock, not being able to control your pet when your survivability is tied to the pet, it's very fucking dangerous. So now, in terms of pricing, I think Blizzard dropped the ball really fucking hard. I think the 35 uh, euros uh, would be fine for the, um, the copying if it was like a package. You get to copy all of uh, your characters. I think it's a bit too much uh, paying 35 per character like and the deluxe uh, edition I think it's 70 dollars or 70 euros around that 
Yeah, it's a bit too much for a 14 year old uh, game. Uh, Blizzard, come on, like, bro. But the release itself, I don't have any problem. They they say they have a few time to to level and to prepare. Like, bro, you you know, uh, Burning Crusade is coming since like Febr uh, February, even before that. So I started to level back in in uh, October, I think, my my characters for uh, for classic. So like come on yeah sure you can't level a paladin or a drain or a shaman or a blood elf for a drain eye yeah sure but um to be honest blizzard already threw a ball a really good um, change which was you're able to level before the expansion comes it's not even blizz like so they could not even do that right and I think a pre-patch of two weeks, it's actually perfect. I would love that to be in the retail version because pre-patch, you can't really do anything. Like the content is nerfed. There's no PVP arenas. Like, I think it's perfect. Yeah, sure, if you want to level a Paladin, you gotta, you gotta leg it up. But um, at the same time, you wouldn't be able to do that in the first place if it was the actual uh, release so yeah i don't see it i don't see it as a big deal let's keep going these things are so blat uh, blatant in their dis uh, disregard for the player experience that even the most resolute of blizzard defenders have had to resort to saying that they don't care instead of trying to look on the bright side because there is no bright side they take pride in being taken advantage of as being able to afford a 70 dollar microtransaction isn't an accomplishment as if not lining the pockets of executive executives who don't even know who Illidan is. Now, this is a really good point, which is the White Knights of Blizzard are fucking retarded. And if you're a White Knight, don't take it like, um, don't take it too serious, what I'm saying, but uh, just, just look at yourself. Like, being a Blizzard chill or a simp for any girl or anything, any of those things, right? Any of these things. Like, you shouldn't take anyone as um or anyone's word as gospel pretty much you you need to think for yourself and if you're still defending blizzard at this point it's because you i, I just can't imagine how your life must be because <sighs> how do i say it because if you're defending these kind of attitudes would you defend them if they fucked you in real life uh, like Let's say you're a dude and uh, fucking Bobby Kotick just uh, came from behind and just fucking, y you know, and uh, would you defend him in court? Like, no. Uh, then why are you defending them when they're legit going into your fucking pockets? But, but yeah, it's baffling for me, so but let's keep going. World of Warcraft used to be a game that made you want to waste your time. Now it's just a game that wastes your time. He says this a lot, and I think it's 100% true. I remember starting in Classic, like the very end of Classic, going into TBC, and I never stopped playing. Like, the most I stopped playing, it was during, uh, like, vacations, and it was, like, within... The, TVC and Wrath of the Lich King, if I didn't play for a month because of vacations, it was way too much. It was just way too much. I never stopped playing those uh, those expansions, and I never felt at any point that I was wasting my time. Because since you're doing something that you fucking love, it's not really wasting your time. It might be for someone uh, like outside, but for you, and that's what matters, you're not wasting your time. You might even think, for example, that people that don't play the, the game and they have another hobby, like going into the fucking cinema or something, it's like wasting their time. It, it's all about uh, what you like. And right now, they actually just waste your time because you have to do Torghast, you have to do the campaign. And people that say, oh, you don't really have to do... No, you, you do. Like, if you PvP and you don't do the campaign and you don't do Torghast, you don't have a Legendary, you don't have Renown, and you don't farm fucking PvP gear for around, like, two or three months, you're just gonna get slapped in the face when you get into Arena. It doesn't matter what you do. 
it really doesn't matter your skill and uh, i'm talking about arena but you can say the same in raids you're going to a raid without any of these things and you won't be able to raid so this is not a thing where you want to waste your time in torghast you have to waste your time and so in terms of um, how your mind thinks and how your brain processes this it, it doesn't see you as having fun it's it sees it as um as uh, sure that's why it's uh, sure gas that's why no one likes to do these things because it's not optional it, you have to do them um but it, this is a hundred percent true every system that's added into the game with obvious playtime extenders corruption vendor rotation losing soul ash when transferring to alts in 9.1 conduit to energy act etc now i want to talk about corruption vendor rotation because something really fun happened so when they added the corruption vendor they they made an announcement and they made like a list of uh, the the corruptions that you had uh, available from week to week and on the first week they had the haste um, the haste um, uh, corruption the percent 12 percent haste corruption and i was so pissed because i i i was going into a vacation for one week so i didn't get it so for around one month my character was weaker than any uh, i was playing Destro bfa Destro warlock in season four so i guess it's kind of like karma it's like <laughs> you play this fucking retarded spec so fuck you but um like i was so far behind from other Destro warlocks that it was actually insane the fact that we actually still won games even though i didn't have the right corruptions uh, on my gear during one month we actually got glad before i even got to back to the corruption vendor uh, that I, before i actually got the fucking haste uh, percent it's actually so insane and if you think about this corruption vendor rotation it made no sense that's the first and then it just they kept nerfing corruption throughout this so if you bought a lot of gushing wound which was i think the first one they actually nerf it after the first week and then they nerfed the versatility in one as well and they kept nerfing and adjusting all of this fucking shit while people had to spend time to farm for this to wait more time to get the fucking right corruption than to see that the corruption was just nerfed a week after and you didn't have the time to refund the fucking corruption this was such a bad system it was actually such a bad system and whoever thought of this vendor rotation should be legit fired this is one of the fucking things and i'm cursing a lot because it it still pisses me off to this day because it made no sense from a logical perspective perspective it made no sense if you add the corruption vendor then put all the fucking corruption on the vendor it's it you don't create a rotation people won't buy the fucking dog shit corruption they will buy the best ones they will just have to wait you don't gain anything you just gain resentment to uh, against you like it's actually so retarded but yeah let's keep sorry let's keep reading do something that's more much more insidious than just making people mad here we go they show the man behind the machine the experience you have in the game the time you spend is no longer the result of trials and tri uh, tribulations inside of azeroth but instead time trials and tribulation inside the accounting department this is a hundred percent truth your experience right now if you think about the last few years your bad experience don't come actually from uh, in-game stuff like and when i mean from in-game stuff it's like you get ganked for 24 hours you get cor uh, corpse camp no your bad experience actually come from some uh, form of these systems like the corruption rotation thing for me like maybe um, uh, uh, conduit energy for you if you raid in pvp at the same time like your bad experience don't actually come from uh, player engagement or engaging with other players which it should be the only bad experience you get from the game in my opinion but uh, while in classic the bad experience that it, like i'm leveling i leveled a lot of alts boys and my all my bad experience in classic uh, right now just come from player interaction with the people ganking me on level 60s then me having to fucking bring my warlock from 
the other side of the world just to find out that they they are not there then all of the sudden they appear again like these bad um, um, memories are actually what makes uh, the game uh, good because you you're so invested that it's actually a memory and um, comes from player engagement right now your bad memories from expansions come from these fucking systems uh, the winning suspense, uh, suspense, oh, suspension of disbelief is shattered, and the only thing that's left over is a poorly designed Skinner box with an inspired disguise. Yes, and this is this 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 fucking comparison from Bellular Gaming. It's a hundred percent. It's just so good. Bellular Gaming recently came up with the most beautiful metaphor for describing the way Blizzard. Sorry, Blizzard designs its systems. It's like eating a great salad, but there's a dick in the salad. Blizzard gets the dick out of our salad. Blizzard get the dick out of our uh, out of our salad. That's him t- saying. You can try to eat around it, put dressing on it, or pretend it's not there. But at the end of the day, there's a dick in the salad, and everybody knows it. And this is beautiful because. Because it's actually such a good metaphor. It's actually a perfect metaphor. You have this salad. The salad is fucking great. But it's a dick. But there's a dick in there. And you want to eat the fucking salad. But there's a dick in there. You can try to eat around it. But there's a fucking dick in there. You can't even like move it around so you eat. But but it's still there. And then you call the waiter and you say it. Oh, waiter, there's a dick in my salad. And he denies it. And you see it, he sees it, but he's still denying it. This is legit what Blizzard devs are. The dick in the salad, it's the systems. The salad, it's the game. It's the good part of the game. Like... Not even class design at this point, which I'm going to talk about tomorrow probably, but it's the good part of the game that is actually, it's World of Warcraft. And the dick is just the systems, and the waiter it's Blizzard. And they only really remove the fucking dick in the later part of the expansion, and even then, sometimes they don't fully remove it, they just fucking cut it and uh, let uh, like half of the dick in there still. And you you eat the salad because it's not a full dick now anymore. And this is a good metaphor because if it's in real life, um, none of us would eat the salad. And in game, we are actually eating the salad, which is completely... Well, I'm not anymore because I installed fucking Shadowlands, but most of the player base is still eating that fucking salad with the dick. And um, it's... It's very telling that people don't really value their time. And that's one thing that with age, I'm 32, <laughs> but with age I actually started to value more, which is my the time I spend and where I spend it and how I spend it. And I start to value time a little bit more. I always valued it, um, but right now at this age I'm just valuing time a lot more. And... Instead of eating a salad with a dick, I'd rather just eat um, something else. And um, that something else is TBC. Thank fucking God. Which is a salad, but uh, without the dick. But um, if uh, all of this is said that if it's in real life, you would legit just make a complaint, not eat that, never come back to that. But... Um, since you see like this is just a game and i hate when people say that this is just a game because you invest so much in the game even if you're a casual player you invest a lot of time you invest a lot of emotion in your character well not anymore because your character doesn't really matter i guess because class design is so fucking dog shit so you don't even have fun but back in the day you would invest so much uh, emotion and so much time and uh, yeah, so much time you, you, in your character that um, it's it's just not a game. It's a hobby like playing football or watching a movie or whatever. You're investing time, and whenever time is invested, emotion is invested in it as well. 
it's not a separate thing and if emotion and time are invested then it's just not the game it's something you want to do and world of warcraft it's not like just another game or a good mmorpg is just not a, a, like another game it's um, so it's a new world a lot of players not really me but a lot of players i bet use world of warcraft as a an escape mechanism to get out of the shitty life like maybe they have a bad job maybe they had a bad divorce maybe they had like bad relationships maybe they don't have really that many friends and they can make friends in world of warcraft maybe they have a disability that doesn't allow them to to stay out that much or to go out that much you never know whoever is on the other side or most mostly you don't know who's on the other side so you have an escape mechanism from the real life to, into this virtual world so whenever you say it's just a game well it, it, maybe it is for you i know for me it is that i can quit at any time i, I did that and only come back when i really don't have anything else to do but for many players it's not for many players they invested so much into this game that they don't see it as a game they see it as a second life like the other mmorpg that existed i don't know if it exists still but it's like a second life for them and uh, it, you might think it's sad but uh, it's actually true and um, and saying it's just a game and uh, putting dicks in the salads for those players it just <laughs> Just imagine, just imagine the following. You're a guy that works like eight hours or shifts of 12 hours and you want to play and you want to play some World of Warcraft. Maybe you're divorced. Maybe you you suffered something so fucking big in, in terms of emotional um, distress or whatever. And you just want to have some fun and you only really play World of Warcraft, you're not a gamer. You're a World of Warcraft player, you're not a gamer. And there's a lot of those that are not really gamers, they just fucking play World of Warcraft. And you ter you finish your 12 hour shift and you come and you want to play Shadowlands. But before you can play Shadowlands and let's say you like to PvP because it's an escape mechanism, maybe you're bullied at work or even at school. And it's a way to like beat up people without hurting people, right? And you go and want to do PvP. Now, you, <clears throat> your 12-hour shift or even at school, whatever, and uh, you, you log in and uh, you need to do a campaign that uh, takes seven weeks uh, if time gated. It. it takes like four hours. You have to do Torghast, which takes at least 40 minutes, both runs, if uh, you're a Demo Warlock, uh, maybe more for some classes. You have to do, uh, if it's PvP, grind gear. It's too much. You want to just have fun. You don't want to have a second job. And World of Warcraft, since Legion, really, feels like it's a second job if you don't do the systems you're in a, such a disadvantage that you can't really tell those players to not do them because if they don't do them no one will want to play with them and then if you have this kind of um, and I'm, I'm gonna stop because I, I need to get through the the rest of the tweet longer but um, then if you if, for example if you're someone that uh, deals with the rejection all the time and all of a sudden you're being rejected because you don't have enough time to play the game it, it must be fucking hard guys it, it must be really fucking hard and I feel for those players because TBC it's, it's actually so funny TBC is actually a more casual um, experience which is insane because tbc was seen as hardcore and wrath of the lich king the the casual experience and people keep saying that the game goes more casually and it's true in some forms like raiding but it's not true in the overall um, experience of the game you need to put a lot of er effort in the game if you want to do anything meaningful but yeah let's let's keep reading sorry for this long ass um, note you can try it around it, but okay, I read this. There's a dick in the salad and everybody knows it. To put it in more plain terms, stop making systems with obvious flaws. There you go. It's the systems. The dicks are the systems. 
stop waiting until the 0 0.2 or 0.3 patch of an expansion to impl implement quality of life changes that were suggested in alpha. It's fucking ridiculous to think that we get fed up. Obviously, dysfunctional systems all need to be hyped up later in the coming back and paying more money so that we can play them properly. Here, I don't think it's about money, nor I think it's about hype. I think Asman Gold is um, very emotional about all of this, and he sees uh, in, um, a vicious intent from Blizzard part apart. I just see incompetence. Uh, I, I can't say this is... Um, done with the uh, with uh, um, the intent of uh, then skewing the numbers later on the expansion because it's not working and it haven't it hasn't worked since um, since wads or since legion if you lose the subscribers in the expansion you won't regain them until the next expansion and the graphs told us uh, uh, that a uh, long uh, time ago so if they analyze the data they actually see it's a bad thing to do this kind of stuff. Now, you might have a very small increase in players, but usually it's because of the patch, not really because of the systems. Because people want to try the new raid, want to do play the new season of PvP, or uh, there's a new, new thing like uh, Mage Tower, for example, that people want to try. It's not really... Um, some might come back because of the systems, but, um, but if you lost a subscriber usually you lose them for the entire uh, the entire expansion but um, I don't think they do this with the vicious intent of uh, skewing the numbers I think they are just incompetent and <clears throat> quality of life doesn't mean it's good by the way I think some quality of life things like for example uh, look, uh, looking for dungeon just actually hurt the game and it's a quality of life improvement what Blizzard needs to see is if, if first, if the system is obligatory to, I don't know if it's in English, but if it's mandatory to do for any type of content, and if it is mandatory, is it repeatable? So for example, a good example of this is Torghast. It's mandatory to do and it's repeatable. And it's repeatable more than once per week. So it's twice a week on the same character which means that uh, you will feel like it's a sure and it's mandatory because at some point everyone knows that legendaries will be mm, upgraded so you can uh, do tw uh, so you can have two legendaries I, I knew that even before the expansion came out it's just a matter of uh, time like a uh, legion you just have to look back and know that uh, you need to do targast and then you want several types of legendaries for several types of uh, content so you need to do targast a lot now you compare this to the campaign quest and even though i don't like the campaign quest the campaign quest it's a mandatory thing to do but you only need to do it once these type of things i, I have uh, i have problems with but uh, i don't have as many problems with because um, you just only really need to do it once and you're done unless you change covenant obviously but um you get what i mean there's system within the systems then there's less less fucked systems than others and the campaign quest even though uh, it's been on since fucking legion pretty much i don't mind as much as uh, this type of torghast uh, island expeditions i think everything that requires you to do um it shouldn't be mandatory to uh, I, I think uh, fucking I would edit this, but yeah. I think everything that is mandatory to do in order to improve your character should only be ha ha should only have to be done once if it's not attached to gear. Okay, that's what I mean. And if it's mandat if um, it's mandatory, it shouldn't be like Torghast or Demo or uh, let's think, yeah, shouldn't be anything like that. It should be more in the lines of. Um, a campaign where you do it once and you don't have to worry about it anymore you completed it you don't need to do it again unless you change covenant um, and I think systems that uh, are mandatory and are repeatable are always doomed to fail in the eyes of the community because you're not doing them for fun if it's repeatable content then it should be for fun for fun rewards for maybe 
some transmog, some uh, some reputation, some fucking enchants, maybe some profession things, right? It shouldn't really be completely attached to your character power, which Torghast is. Let's keep uh, reading it. I'm sick of it. I was willing to deal with this in Legion with legendaries, and I was less willing to deal with it. With it in BFA, with Azerite Corruptions, but now in Shadowlands, I, along with many other people, no longer welcome quality of life changes with excitement, but instead with about fucking time. And this is a huge problem. Uh, is a 100% a, a correct, but the problem I see there, here, it's after three expansions, do you really only have this mindset now? You should have done it, uh, or you should have uh, this mindset back in Legion. Right, where legendary acquisition was so fucking dog shit that uh, a lot of uh, players had like four alts and they would play whoever got the, the best legendary first. But yeah, right now it's uh, about fucking time. But uh, I, I will keep saying this and I will die on this hill. If you lose a subscriber, it's really hard to for, for him to come back in the same expansion. So these people usually don't think about fucking time. They just don't play it again and they come back in the next expansion. I, I would say uh, most of the player base does that. So out of this 30% that Blizzard lost lately, uh, subscribers, maybe... I don't know, 5% will come back, maybe more, but uh, I, I can't see this happening, coming back just because they unfucked a fucked system. Humans being have involved, uh, human beings have involved to see patterns, and I think everyone sees the pattern and is completely correct. There are two re realities in which this can occur. The first is that developers are genuinely incompetent, they have actually no idea how players will interact with their systems and they honestly need six months of failure points to come to the same conclusion that the player base came uh, came to during alpha now i think this is correct i think the, these developers are completely incompetent i don't think they need six months to see that a system um, um, fails i think they they kind of know but uh, they are hoping that the player base interacts with them um, with the systems in the different way that uh, they think that will happen and this is their incompetence uh, you should be able to see that um, doing Torgas twice a week per character just to get the legendary which you can only use one but you still need to do it because then it needs to be upgraded and you need to get another one and you need to get another one and all of this that players will resent that type of content players don't like to do the same thing they like to do different things that's why tbc for example it's so successful or was so successful at the time even raids you didn't have to do the raid more than once one difficulty was enough <coughs> it wasn't guaranteed that everyone saw the difficulty but the entry raids like Karazhan, and gruel and magdaridan were really fun to do which means that even though you're a casual and you can't get into Sunwall, for example, which is a fucking shit show, or even Black Temple, you can't get into those raids, but you can still aspire to get into there, and you're doing the same content that the players that raided Black Temple um, were doing a few a few months ago, right? So you don't really feel like you accomplished the game because you don't finish those raids, and um, which you can now with LFR and you don't overburn yourself with that because you, then you have other options to do you can go into professions and improve your gear towards um, being better gear to, to do higher raids and you can um, can do other stuff like reputations, PvP you have time to breathe but in uh, Shadowlands if you log in on a Wednesday and you don't start doing your shores uh it feels like sometimes you need to play a lot more just you can't breathe that's what i mean it feels like you log in and you can't breathe because you have a long fucking list to do and sometimes streamers don't see how long the list is because they play every day because they it's their job but if someone only logs in like two hours per week is fucked right and uh, the things he has to do 
it's just chores you can't really enjoy the game <laughs> so i think it's incompetence because this is up to the the dev team to to prevent uh, let's see the second reality is that they are doing it on purpose. They intentionally withhold the quality of life changes and obvious improvements in order to artificially extend game time and boost performance metrics without actually having to create new content, but instead just making existing con uh, content taking longer. This is also true. This is the fun part. It's actually also true, not in the case, I think, of the systems um, or in case of the systems as well, but um, it's not done in i think for example drogas they they just thought it would be a really cool thing to do and they wanted the players to do it so they tied the legendaries and they were so scared that players didn't do it for some reason and uh, so they just tied legendaries into it when there should be no rewards from a power a power perspective but if you think about this it's actually true but not the way it thinks it's not to to get into the shareholders and um and say because we always talk about the shareholder calls and they just use a language that the shareholders will understand like they won't talk about oh we have this new content and this new content it's amazing players will enjoy it no they need to say um, that during this time we had a certain amount of engagement but that doesn't mean they have to do the um, the systems uh, force you to engage you, you know what I mean I think whenever they talk in the earnings call, it's just from a, a perspective of them actually adapting the gaming language to someone that doesn't understand anything of gaming. I don't think they actually then implement all of these systems to do that. But uh, it's funny because they keep adding these type of systems. And I think it's a little bit of incompetence. And I think it's a, a little bit of a trying to extend game time without knowing why tpc and it's kind of funny because ian was a player back in the day it's it's kind of funny that the player back in the day doesn't know why he wanted to play the game so much and why everyone was so fucking hyped about uh, tpc and wrath of the lich king it's kind of funny <coughs> but uh, for example the best example of this extend game time it's mythic plus which i hate by the way I think all the content should have uh, one difficulty and maybe dungeons too, so normal and heroic to distinguish a little bit of the raiders because I don't know if you know, but um, in TBC, heroics were seen as a raider content, not really casual player content. That's why they were so fucking hard back in the day. And uh, they are super hard because of it's, it's, a, it's a lot of uh, gear dependence. Um, so I don't like systems that extend this game time and Mythic Plus it's pretty much a system that extends game time and they are actually now releasing um, a leaderboard for it and everyone is fucking happy and I think it's one of the worst systems that they ever implemented to dungeons but uh, but yeah uh, the truth is that I don't think that's the first or the second I think it's both oh I, I actually forgot to say this yeah it's a, it's a little bit of both the developers like the humility this is the biggest problem to give the player base what they want and when they do they like the insight to give them what they need the, what he means here is for example <coughs> uh, solo queue and he actually talks about it in um, in a video and i i actually said the same exact thing like months before and i got fucking destroyed in my chat <laughs> in the video and i keep the comments because i don't care but um why do uh, people want solo queue Thank fucking God Ian is actually not giving solo queue, by the way. It's actually the only good thing he said in that fucking interview. But players want solo queue. And whenever a dev... And this is not a good example because he already said that um, they are not giving solo queue. But let's think that uh, the devs actually cave in, which they do all the time, to the what the players want and they give solo queue. This is what I mean, or this is what he means. Just because a player wants or the player base wants solo queue, it's not, <clears throat> you can't just give it to them. You need to understand. And this requires some 
emotional fitness and some emotional agility to understand why are they complaining about solo queue and solo queue is being complained because the player base has been reducing the pvp player base that is has been reducing the game is not fun in pvp it's just not fun to pvp in uh, shadowlands or, or bfa or legion um, it's just not fun so players disengage that uh, that system you don't really need well in shadowlands you kind of need it because of gear but you don't re usually really need to do pvp so you can just disregard that um, aspect of the game altogether and uh, since it's not fun you don't really gain anything well in shadowlands you do but yeah um and um, the player base is reducing you don't have the troop pvpers that want to experience pvp don't have a huge pool of players to to pick from and uh, since the lfg it's actually a very flawed system <clears throat> it's really hard to to find and then you already have this really small pool right you have like this universe and this universe gets cut in half because of the class design and the um, the class balance so all of the sudden you're for example uh, an affliction warlock that is not gladiator experience the chances of you getting into a group to actually do some pvp and staying with that group for more than half um, an hour it's very fucking slim and this is what it means the problem you need to attack the problem not really the symptom because if you attack the symptom then the problem will still be there and the other symptoms will rise you you never attack a disease you need to attack the disease not the symptom the disease has else the you can eventually die <clears throat> and this is what i've been saying about solo queue and what he finally we finally hear from fucking asman gold which is perfect and i think he talks about it the developers identify problems that players don't have then implement solutions to those that players don't want and this is super fucking true master looter it it's actually so unbelievable that that blizzard actually removed master looter because some players according to them which i never saw some players went to a guild and wanted to get gear straight away they didn't want to wait like the trial thing what's the message passing to to those players what's the message that blizzard is saying it's like going into a job and expecting to to gain the full max salary in the first uh, in the first two weeks like what just chill there's a um, a progression system towards guilds and all of that uh, and master looter it's actually a huge um, example of uh, a problem that play players didn't really have and a solution that players didn't really want let's go <coughs> i need some water sorry but uh, this is a long one in battle for azeroth i really try to be more diplomatic oh, i talked about the systems and the state of the game but at this point i'm so fucking tired man it's exhausting and it is and i i feel this on the affliction uh, or the warlock forums where <clears throat> i tried to fix with some some ideas affliction in retail and nothing happens obviously it's exhausting the funny thing is that this is a very general post but i could literally make a post this long about any number of systems in the game and they're lazy and deserve decline true how many reskins of uh, the gorm mount we need super true especially when it's on the st stores and shit it's the only cool mounts are on the store come on blazer why do we need to do 20 of the same world quests for an achievement why do Shadowlands rares only drop their unique items for people of that loot class when most people want to transmog universally? Why? Well, so you make another character to get that, bro. <laughs> you know. 
Here's why, it's because instead of innovating the game, Blizzard has mirrored themselves down into micromanaging expansion-specific systems. Very true. Imagine how hard it is to balance all of that. It's not hard, it's actually impossible. I don't envy the life of a WoW dev at all, neither do I. However, it was not my decision to make character balance in WoW have more unnecessary complexities than the Rube Goldberg machine, which I have no idea what it is, but... Uh, but um, yeah, it's not our decision to make. They make the, the their own decisions. And the funny part is to replace one system. It's actually funny. To replace really two systems. So the sets, uh, the class sets, which were present in the game since uh, vanilla. And to replace the class talent trees, uh, which were in place since vanilla. They actually had to add other systems to, to make the characters feel special, which is kind of funny because just two systems completely did it, and now we, we have an overflowing um, of systems with conduits, um, uh, with the conduits, the I can't even, legendaries, what more, the soul binds, the soul binds, and there's probably two or three more ticks that I'm forgetting. <clears throat> Blizzard wants to reinvent the wheel every expansion. Yes. And they do. Yes, they do. But they don't make a wheel, they make a hoverboard instead. <laughs> then during the expansion, we spend our time worrying about how it will fly. What f uh, fuel will it use? How can we have a seatbelt for the hoverboard? Well, you can't. You're just fucked because it's going to crash at some point. It's a test. And the, the worst part about the, this test, it's a test that you're going to do the, ne the next expansion as well. We waste our time trying to design the perfect hoverboard for each expansion, yeah? And, that's, and uh, every hoverboard just crashes in the end, which is kind of funny. But we keep doing the same test. Like, the, the uh, it's insanity at its best. The, they keep doing the same thing since Legion, and they've been failing since uh, since legion more than mop for example mop i think it was more of a team thing than actually like bad systems but um but yeah um perfect hoverboard for each expansion we get halfway there by the end of it then we throw that hoverboard away and work on a new one now here i disagree i don't think we are even halfway i think we the hoverboard still didn't work out <laughs> like uh, it just doesn't work this adding systems to your character they they just don't work it's historical by now you you have like six years of experience by now they just don't work some might work better than others like the legion ones but uh overall they, it's just not a fun design your characters should be strong by itself it shouldn't be in, it shouldn't need a weapon that was crafted by fucking God himself and then you released it by mistake on earth and you, the champion, just brought brought yourself together and with the strength of a, a fucking thousand souls you gathered that sword and now all of a sudden you're... Nah, bro, like, you're a fucking... You should be an adventurer still. <coughs> you're not a champion, that's like... It... But yeah, this is a matter of perspective, I guess. I don't like being the champion. I just like being the random guy that needs to kill 12 boars in Westfall. Well, not really Westfall in fucking uh, Durator because I'm not an alliance chill. Okay. Where, where are we? Uh, but yeah, I don't, I don't think they should even bring... Now, a system that I think they should have brought in... Um, in Shadowlands was actually Warfronts, but Warfronts done correctly, so a MOBA type of game, but um, in a player versus player. Like, imagine if you in the Warfront you faced the other faction, it would be actually way cooler than just facing NPCs and being super boring and then being impossible to win, like a tool to lose. Like, if you bring the other faction, you can actually have a MOBA type of play, and it's actually baffling how the devs didn't see this. Um, but yeah, it would be very, very good. You would just need to make new maps every expansion, and you had uh, an alternative competitive thing 
besides the WoW Arena, because in my opinion, Mythic Plus it's not competitive at all, even though it has a lot more viewers than AWC, but I, I think that speaks more to the PvP experience than it does to the Mythic Plus, but uh, maybe I'm I'm wrong, I, I can be wrong. Um, okay. By the end of it, then we throw the hoverboard away and work on a new one. All at the same time, the player base is just asking for a better wheel. There you go. He, he says it pretty much. We don't want a hoverboard. We just want a wheel that works even better than the previous wheel. But Blizzard keeps giving us this fucking hoverboard and we keep crashing every single time. And the worst part is they haven't learned from it. It's been six years, guys. Come on. Micromanaging these systems is coming at the cost of genuine innovation. This is true. For example, uh, with so many so many systems they, they they just have to bring all the brain power into fixing those fi systems and that brain power could be f um, used on fixing some glaring issues really uh, with classes like demonology warlocks for example that have been dog shit and they have been reworked every single expansion since legion so and maybe make uh, a class like demon hunter more appealing to more players because it's still the least played class even though it's the cooler uh, coolest class in terms of lore uh maybe it's because the design it's not very appealing to the players i don't know i i would love to to main a demon hunter but it's so fucking mind-numbling to play and so easy that i, I just get bored of just looking at one <clears throat> The last time the game had real innovation was in Legion, with the Mage Tower, I guess. Now almost all of our systems are end with Mythic Plus, but come on, Mythic Plus, you had Challenger mode, so I guess it's Mage Tower. Now almost almost all of uh, all our, our systems are lesser derivatives of the Legion counterparts. Yes, Covenants are innovation to an extent as well. I wouldn't say that. It's kind of like uh, order hall, but uh, with more restrictions. So I don't know if you can, well, I guess you can call it innovation. We need new ideas, not the same eight ideas and each expansion we get to pick five of them. Completely correct. Torghast is a great example of this. Torghast is currently at 5% of its potential. I would say it's a bit lower even. And 9.1 is looking to push that number up to somewhere 15. I, I d didn't see really that much of the patch notes, but uh, I guess this is good. Of its potential, wake the fuck up and take some risks. Yeah. Look at the incredible design of the Mage Tower, the best content WoW has had in, I don't know, 10 years maybe. I loved the Mage Tower. <clears throat> And com compare that with the corrupted trash can of a boss we have to look for to in 9.1. I think this is in Torghast. What the fuck happened? Well, Torghast needs to be done by every single player, Asman. That's what happened, bro. Because if a one player can't do it, then it means that he can't get fucking Solash, right? This is the main problem of uh, making mandatory systems for uh, character power because if you make these systems uh, mandatory to increase the power of your character they need to be easy right because if they are not easy and the player can't get it he won't get invited to anything because everything it's uh, actually uh, around player power in this game it's not about fun it's just by a uh, player power how much power can i get from this system Torghast is to be, supposed to be a roguelike, I never played one, uh, but uh, if this is what roguelikes are, I, yeah, a new experience, but the only thing it's been roguelike, 9.1 is a good start, but needs to, <coughs> needs to come faster and needs to be better, yeah. Nearly every aspect of the game is suffering from lack of innovation. List of all raids, from my opinion, raids and raids are and have been one thing that Blizzard does not stop innovating and developing in better and better ways. This is actually true. I'm always excited for a new raid or dungeon in WoW, but WoW shouldn't just be um, only about uh, raids and dungeons. And it's also true; it shouldn't. It should be all about the game, the world, the raids and dungeons are parts of a bigger world or they should be but they are not 
the world now it's within the raids and dungeons and everything you do in the world is to reach the point where you can instance yourself with other players in raids and dungeons and that's the problem it, uh, raids and dungeons should be part of a bigger world and this world should have more things than raids and dungeons and that's how you keep players you don't keep players forcing them to go into Torgas to get into an instance so you do an instance content to get into another instance constant, uh, content y you should be out in the world to do an instance content and this is where attunements for example and no one likes attunements I don't think but uh, this is where attunements make you go out in the world in order to get into a raid so you feel like you're evolving your character but, uh, but I'm not a game designer so what the fuck do I know the reason I'm sitting here writing this past midnight, it's not because I'm negative about the game, it's the opposite. It's because I fucking love this game. True. This is why I care so much and want to get better. This game has been a huge part of my life for the past 15 years and I will damn if I live without a fight. Same. I want to play it for the next 15 years, even now in Shadowlands Content Route, I still log in every single day and do the little activities that I enjoy. Now. This is not true for me anymore. I actually let me show to to say that I mm, okay. So you can see I uninstalled the game. Ooh. I uninstalled the game because the game is just dog shit in my opinion. <clears throat> now I'm different from Asimon Gold. Maybe if I was a streamer, I would actually have to log in every single day to to give you guys content. But since I'm not a streamer, I have the option to actually just log off the fucking game and not have to deal with anything. And I don't doubt Asimon Gold has still enjoyment in the game, but um, but I think a lot of that enjoyment comes from uh, interacting with uh, his viewers, not really the game itself. Um, yeah, that's what I think, I guess. Because he actually interacts a lot with his viewers, with transmog competitions, Montoffs, and all of that. And I think he gets, but I can't speak for him, obviously. Maybe he still enjoys Shadowlands, but I highly doubt it, because uh, Shadowlands is just not enjoyable content. So I guess he takes the fun. Uh, out of uh, interacting with his viewers, not really Shadowlands itself. That's why I don't unsub, it's very simple. It's because I still enjoy the game. While the negatives are present, so are the positives, and there are more positives. This I completely disagree. I think the moment that class design and systems are dog shit, it's impossible to have more positives, especially ca uh, class design, if you think about it. Class design, and I've said this on... Um, I said this before, classes are your eyes, they are your avatar towards the game, and if the avatar is uh, fucking limbing, it doesn't have a limb, then your experience in that world will not be the best, right? So I completely disagree with this, I, I don't think there's more positives just because class design is dog shit. And I'm going to talk a, a lot more about class design in the next video I make, unless there's like a, some something like this. But uh, I'm going to make a video about class design and how it devolved, actually, instead of evolving. And it started in Wrath of the Lich King, by the way. The reason I'm frustrated and angry is because I know it can be so much better. Yes. Sometimes I actually go smoke a cigarette and I think of so many things that Blizzard could do with this game and so many things that Blizzard could undo uh, like class design and they would ev even have um, an option for an expansion to undo all the shit like the Emerald Dream it was all a dream so after coming back uh, from uh, Northrend everything that happened it was all a dream and they actually removed uh, every single change, uh, even class, that was added after Wrath of the Lich King. That would piece uh, many the ages and maybe many monks, but they are still the two least played characters. And I think it would overall be better for the game. Just uh, 
just make it like it was all a dream and when we came back from um, Northrin we were asleep and uh, we have to fight uh, the guy from the Emerald Dream the fucking old god I think it's Enzot but I'm not sure which we already fought but uh, in terms of lore it would be also very cool because then you could undo all of this bullshit from the space and fucking Arthas and shit fuck me the jailer and whatever but uh, it might be a really bad idea I don't know <clears throat> um, where am I but uh, yeah the game can just be much better okay we are here I know I know it and many uh, of you out there do too and I'm sick of pretending li uh, like I don't uh, like I don't now we I think we all know that the game can be better every game can be better everything can be better in the world we got a taste of what potential of wow is with legion here i completely disagree now imagine if that level of innovation and inspiration carried into bfa and now into shallant i'd never leave the house and i'd be proud of it like i i think but, it, but yeah it's his opinion i guess he, he loved the legion i i think legion was the start of uh, this downfall especially in terms of class design um, in class design it wasn't really the start the start was in route then in kata with the mob just giving it a rest and legion was just cutting up uh, the heads of the classes uh, to the blizzard developers stop fucking us around stop fucking around and start making the game that we know you can make they can't make that game asmund because they are not the same devs that played uh, that uh, did classic they are devs that came from um, Diablo 2, if I'm not mistaken. And those devs maybe are really good, but they they don't have the same vision that the devs of World of Warcraft had for the game. So that's why you get these repeatable systems, because uh, Diablo 2 it's a repeatable content type of game. It's an action RPG where you do the same dungeon over and over and over and over and over again. And that works in Diablo and that type of games, but it doesn't work in a MMO, MMORPG because people get burned out. So I completely disagree. They can't make that game. They need a, a direction shift. And Ian Azikosa should be that uh, commander, uh, that commander, or that uh, captain that should steer the the fucking ship. But he's steering it into the fucking rocks instead of into the open sea, right? So it's an amalgamation of many, many mistakes done throughout the years, um, especially from the devs. Uh, get the dicks out of the salad. I hope they do. I don't think they will. They will always have, uh, even if it's only the tip, bro, <laughs> they will keep the dick in the salad. But just disguise it you, you will see the next expansion and everyone what's going to happen the next expansion is they won't have this type of systems they will have another type of system though that won't seem mandatory um, and everyone will fucking praise them only to find out that it will be mandatory at some part of the expansion because these guys don't know anymore so they will have the dick in the salad but they will paint it as green and you will think it's a, a leaf or something and you will eat the fucking dick like legion was in my opinion give us something worth wanting it doesn't matter how si how a system should work it matters how it makes a player feel completely correct stop releasing dysfunctional systems then add quality of life improvements later on as content true to the players stop accepting dog shit big true <laughs> you're better than that and so are the developers not true the developers are not better than this there is no pride in having your time wasted true stop trying to look on the bright side you shouldn't have to there shouldn't have been a dark side to begin with uh, it can be a dark side the problem is how you go about the dark side when it's like the fourth expansion in a row with the dark side like come on bros and legion had a really dark side people just forgot that uh, legion had a really dark side uh, to start with the legendaries and with the um, artifact uh, systems uh, people keep forgetting that you couldn't have two active specs 
up until the around mid legion because you one of your specs would actually be way better because of the artifact power this has been quite a long post but i've had this on my mind for a long time especially after the 9.1 ptr burning crusade announcement so i really appreciate it no i appreciate this this week longer i think it's very well uh, written i don't think it's it's i don't think it's like i don't agree with everything he says but i i see where it's coming from and uh, yeah guys i just wanted to to give my thoughts as we went through this uh, tweet longer and um, to be honest just if you're not enjoying world of warcraft try another version try classic uh, classic in my opinion it's more fun overall if i rate it i i would actually have even more fun but tbc classic is coming so try that out and don't let the the outbursts because of boosts and all of that like overall the game will still be better i think they shouldn't have done any changes in that regard but um try other games if you're not having fun with world of warcraft like i'm playing starcraft right now and i'm having a lot of fun coming back to that game i'm not gonna play it for that long because tbc is coming but um don't keep eating this fucking dick just throw the salad away until they, they bring you a real salad but yeah guys thanks for watching i know this was a long one if you watched till, until the final thank you i hope you i earned your fucking like button you earned my respect if you actually watch the whole video so peace